The 2015 Ford F-150 is a full-size pickup that competes against other trucks like the Chevy Silverado, Ram 1500, and Toyota Tundra. The first example I drove was a XLT 4x2 Super Crew that was priced a little over $42,000, including destination charges. My second ride was in a Lariat 4x4 Super Crew with a price tag of over $51,500. Both trucks were powered by the all-new 2.7-liter V6 EcoBoost engine mated to a six-speed automatic transmission. No EPA ratings have been released for the new F-150 yet, but I'll share my observed fuel economy in just a moment. You know, for nearly a year now, we have been reporting on the new aluminum intents of 2015 F-150, and during that time, I've wondered, as I'm sure many of you have, what it's like driving the new and lighter truck. We've heard from Ford executives and engineers how much of a difference the aluminum body makes, and I finally got my chance to put those claims to the test. It was difficult to discern any difference during acceleration, but the handling and braking is where this truck really shines. In fact, I think it's better than any of its competitors in those areas. In turns, it felt nice and planted, thanks in part to the reduced weight, but also to some new suspension tricks like moving the rear shocks outside of the frame rails and mounting them in opposite direction. The brake response was impressive, slowing or coming to a stop quicker than I would have expected. But let's move along to what moves this truck along down the road. The 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost and 5 liter V8 engines that are currently available carry over to the new model. There's also a 3.5 liter V6 non-turbo engine, but the real highlight is the brand new 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost option. And if you're wondering what that truck drives like with this engine, let me tell you, it's pretty amazing. I was thoroughly impressed. It's very smooth and with 325 horsepower and 375 pound-feet of torque, there's more than enough power on hand to pass slow moving traffic. While at these vehicle events, I always try to drive like I would in the real world, like getting up to speed in pretty economical manner and only accelerating hard when needed. That netted me an average fuel economy of 22.7 miles per gallon with little stop and go driving with the XLT 4x2 Super Crew model. But my more heavy footed driving partner only returned around 15 to 16 miles per gallon. There's significant changes to the interior and content in the new truck as well. The dash layout has been reworked and I like it better than the current model. To me, it just seems more robust. A much larger sunroof lets in loads of natural light and a seamless sliding rear window that can be opened and closed with the touch of a button. New technology includes a 360 degree camera view to aid parking, as well as a new rear view camera feature that helps when hooking up a trailer, just to name a few. The rear tailgate now opens with the touch of a button on the key fob and the step assist is now housed inside of the tailgate rather than being mounted on top. Overall, it's a really good truck, and I think it only really lacks behind GM's full-size trucks in refinement, because the new motor and body mounts in those trucks really do make a big difference. But I can't wait to see how the actual customers respond.